Okay, hello everyone. I'm online, so I hope that everything is okay and you are okay and you are waiting for our second general review. So just a few seconds, let's check the sound and let's check the video. Please write in the comment section if everything is okay and if you hear me well and see me well. So let me just look at your comments and then we can start. So today we are observing your works on the second lesson and we were drawing a beautiful tasty heart-shaped waffle with icing. I have already, uh, well, selected the works and prepared them in my selected folder. So I will go and uh, illustrate some uh, points that I want to show you and I want to recommend you some things according your, uh, well, small mistakes. And now I'm just waiting for your comments and then we can start. Yeah. Uh, hello, all good. Hello, good evening. All good. Everything seems to be okay. Hi, hello. Hello from Netherlands. Hello from uh, New York or Norway. Yeah. <laughs> hello from Turkey. So great. Now I will switch the screen and we can start. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello from Ukraine. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, uh, hey, hello from Canada or Western Canada. Yeah. So great. Now, uh, let me just switch the screen and we can start. So, okay. So here I have the folder selected with your works. And by the way, they are all beautiful. I'm absolutely sure that you did a great job. They are all so bright and vibrant. You have chosen, well, best colors, by the way. And the color mixing again is just perfect, I think. So this point, when we are talking about the points uh, for the a general review the point about color mixing i think you are doing very well so let me just remind you what kind of uh, well topics i'm just speaking talking about here on the reviews and uh, the first one is composition, so how you are placing your object on the paper. The second one is the drawing itself, so what kind of shapes you are using, what kind of proportions and so on. Uh, how about the well perspective, maybe sometimes if you are drawing the well buildings, uh, cabins and so on. Then we are talking about the liner outline and then we are going to the watercolor points. So the first one is color mixing and uh, the choosing of the colors. By the way, some of the works are really beautiful and I really liked the idea of making the icing, not just exactly the icing, but the chocolate thing here very beautiful and you have so many interesting ideas about making the uh, drawings on the vocabulary uh, paper that's so nice and well lots of beautiful things and ideas i will show you a bit later then after the choosing of the colors we are usually talking about the uh, watercolor techniques and washes so how you have managed making beautiful transitions from one color to another and what about the soft edges what about blurring and about well, applying the watercolor itself then we are talking about the shadows and about the light things about creating the three-dimensional effect so this is a very, very important point. So just we will talk about it uh, here again. And the last one is the details. When we are applying the white pen or when we are adding some darker lines to make our uh, drawing more contrasty and more vibrant. So great. Now let's start with the composition. And here again, I'm just uh, well so proud that you are using your ideas, that you are creating something like this. This one is so, so interesting and nice, by the way. It me the well the, <laughs> like uh, the well the waffle is like the, the lock, and here we have the key. Very nice idea, by the way. And also, let me just um, look at your works, and you have the 
a5 format as well and you are uh, doing okay with the composition as well so we have the square format and when you are changing the format sometimes you have some spare space or maybe um, untouched areas on the paper and sometimes it is okay to add something on it like some lettering or maybe some additional drawings and by the way here i have maybe one with the lettering or not let me just look at it well yeah here you have used the well extended vertical format and here you are just adding additional beautiful drawings and that's okay that's very nice and then let me just look at the others by the way this one i really love this one i love the idea of making it inside the circle very beautiful so here we have the drawing inside the frame already yeah this one so this one <laughs> i really love this one because you are adding some kind of lettering here and maybe you are just making a card of it that's a great idea by the way so here we are adding on this free course uh, this kind of drawing just exactly for you to make some cards on valentine's day or maybe some cards on another occasion that is why you can use it you can just write something and well maybe you can uh, present this uh, drawing for your friend or somebody yeah i love this idea very much so very nicely done and again this one is uh, in a circle and here again just very nicely done and interesting color and also i love this lettering as well so the composition is so so beautiful here and basically you're doing okay with the composition and you are doing okay with the drawing sometimes i saw some works maybe you should uh, do the uh, lines inside the waffle smaller for example here maybe on this uh, waffle i think that the uh, squares inside can be a bit smaller so the drawing itself the shape of the heart is beautiful and the flowers are beautiful you can make them just a bit bigger maybe uh, exactly this one for example and this one just make it large just do not be shy make them visible and popping out and the icing is beautifully done but here inside we have some squares and just make them smaller a bit that's it. that is how they will look more natural and they will remind us exactly of the uh, waffle that we are thinking of and we are um, a drawing here so basically uh, the drawing is also very beautiful just remember that when you are making a drawing and you want to uh, well depict some kind of a cookie or i don't know biscuits or maybe the waffle just think about the uh, lines that we are making try not to make them too small or maybe too big but the others they are so so beautiful i just think about only one um, a drawing and I have just um, illustrated this one this point for you so the others they are okay and beautiful as well maybe this one the drawing is very beautiful but here we have the uh, well the squares they are reminding us of uh, rectangles maybe you can do them a bit smaller a bit smaller and the rest is so so beautiful yeah okay and the next point is the liner outline by the way the liner outline is also very nicely done i think nothing to correct here i'm so so proud of you that you are doing great with making such kind of lines so sometimes you are making the lines bolder and sometimes your lines are so uh, interesting and vibrant and diverse so when we are talking about the sketching the main thing here is to make your line interesting and to make the outline catchy for the viewer's eye and for any others that you are maybe going to present your picture your drawing and so on so if we are making our outline as diverse as different as we can so your drawing will look beautiful 
and eye-catching <laughs> just definitely I, I know that so here you are doing great you are showing the texture you are making the beautiful lines bolder in some areas you are making it's dark and contrasty so this point is actually very nicely done in all sketches here so very very nicely done yeah and this one by the way is so soft and delicate by the way you are doing great with the watercolor washes here and the edges are so so soft okay so the uh, liner outline I think was the easiest thing here and now we are moving on to the um, watercolor things and now let me just show you the colors that you are using again I just want to uh, well give you the idea about making this kind of waffle but with different colors I see that you are all doing great with color mixing and with applying the color with choosing the color that means that you can go further and you can experiment with the color if you want to this one is very beautiful I'm just showing your uh, beautiful waffle like an example of beautiful soft edges for the background as well and why not why not changing the color and making it well different if you want to like the card that we have here so you can choose any color of the icing and do the next sketch as well just go and practice again and i'm sure your sketches will be beautiful um i will be so so glad if you just so uh, well share your uh, next sketches again with me here and if you tag my account as well I'm so interested and curious in what you are going to draw. Maybe if you want to, of course, it is not just the obligatory thing. <laughs> it's just for your uh, further development. Okay, so if you want to, you can just experiment and change the color of the uh, icing, maybe some colors inside the waffle, or maybe you can change the color of the flowers. Why not? So the color of the flowers can also be different. So for example, here we have, by the way, the uh, icing that is more red. And here we have the flowers, the blue flowers, by the way, very nicely done and interesting idea. So the color is beautiful. So now we are going uh, further and now let's talk about the uh, watercolor washes and here I have several points for you uh, for the well better practice and in some uh, sketches we can see that the well background is just perfect well here exactly the uh, well the edges of the background the uh, lines and the color picking and the applying of the color is so so nicely done but sometimes we have uh, the watercolor edges here like this it's okay so it's not a big mistake uh, the point that i want to share with you is when you want some kind of effect you can make it but if you don't want it you can just practice a bit and here i'm just going to show some works that I think maybe if you want to you can practice making uh, some soft edges on the background if you want to so again it is not just like I'm telling you have to or you must um, do only the soft edges on the background no it's just for um, your further well practice and maybe if you want to you can uh, do extra extra exercises and I have them uh, in the preparatory lessons you can just go and look how we can make the soft edges how we are blurring how we are diluting the color and how we are achieving the soft edges so the color here is beautiful and if you want to you can practice the soft edges on the background so let me just uh, show you some works by the way this uh, drawing is beautiful and I really love this kind of uh, background and the edges that you have here but sometimes you can make them a bit softer so the edge that you have here at the top is beautiful you know why just because you don't have uh, so much extra uh, paint or extra water inside it but here sometimes I can see that the uh, watercolor wash maybe was 
uh, with lots of water or maybe with lots of color just do not forget about collecting the extra water and extra color from your paper if you have them on your watercolor wash why i'm usually talking and repeating in my lessons about collecting the extra water and extra paint from your paper the reason is that if you do not collect uh, it will dry not that beautiful i know this kind of well things when you are just leaving some blobs of water on your paper and after well maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes you can see that the watercolor and the water is just well floating everywhere and it is not drying um how to say well it is not drying uh in a in a flat way so it can be that the layer the watercolor layer is just not that beautifully dried when you are leaving some water blobs or uh, extra paint so here again you can try and if you want to you can practice uh, the soft edges if you want to and just try not to leave too much of the lighter space here around the waffle that you have here uh, when we are making the background we are just thinking not only about the background but we are also thinking about the shadows under the object and that means that the uh, background right under or closer next to the object should be brighter or maybe darker uh, just to show the shadow so the well doing the background we are just thinking about two purposes the first one is the beautiful color and beautiful watercolor washes and the second one is the shadow and that means that the shadow are is just the thing for the three-dimensional effect and uh, try not to leave too much of the uh, lighter color here right next to the object uh, try the opposite try to add uh, the brighter color closer to the object and while going well to the sides try to make the color lighter okay so yeah i can see that you are writing some questions let me just look at them and i can read and answer Okay, I had to make my outline twice because I didn't like it the first time. That's okay. So uh, that's, well, perfect when you are just thinking and analyzing your work and when you are practicing. So that's great. <clears throat> I made a mistake with the outline, the <laughs> better portion, but I stuck with it since I was short on time. Oh, well, uh, again, just reminding you about the correcting your mistakes uh, when you are doing the outline step. You can correct everything using your uh, white pen or, for example, maybe white acrylic uh, marker or white acrylic paint and so on. And then you can just uh, use the watercolor and uh, lay over the uh, white pen. So that's just perfect thing for correcting the outline. I have every time difficult with a uh, three-dimensional. Well, uh, here, let me just show you some points on making uh, this inside squares uh, more three-dimensional. Just in a minute, I will just explain some points here. If you have just um, any questions, please ask me uh, right now in the comment section. And I will uh, try to answer again. <clears throat> it was helpful to do a rough sketch in my sketchbook and then working on watercolor paper. Yeah, yeah, that's a very nice idea of making some uh, preliminary uh, work while you are just learning. That's okay. So sometimes I'm making uh, some small tiny sketches. I will just show you right in a minute or well, maybe not in a minute in a second how i'm doing some of my work and i'm not just uh making the sketches right from my mind sometimes sometimes i'm making additional drawings just to make it clear for me how the sketch should look so just in a minute i will show you how i'm doing everything and you'll understand so you can do the same you can do the same thing let me just show you so i have this kind of working 
uh, folder and here I have lots of pages and inside it I have lots of small sketches. So um, sometimes I have some idea and then I do this kind of preliminary small drawing. And then it is easier for me to draw the bigger one. So actually like this one. And that's okay. So we are all working in different well ways and that's okay that you are choosing some kind of uh, well way it is suitable for you. So let me just look the other comments. I added some blue spots and splatters to my background because I thought pink and blue would be good together. Yeah, yeah, that's nice color. Uh, they are good in looking together, in combining together. I find it very difficult to paint the background light. My background is always very dark. Uh, well, just again, the same, uh, the same advice for you, uh, Fatima, if I'm correct, if I'm, uh, well, pronouncing your word, your uh, name, sorry, correctly, um, then you can prepare the, uh, well, color on your palette and then you can just check it on a separate paper and that is how you can understand whether the color is okay or whether it is too dark and if it is too dark just add some water and you will get it lighter uh, my back uh, yard was mostly light purple but a little bit dark purple but it still turned out pretty good yeah in some areas when we are making the background we are uh, well making some areas darker and some areas lighter but if we are just keeping in mind the uh, point of the shadows just try to make not that light contour around the object with the uh, background so here it is okay and beautiful and the right side is also very uh, nicely done and here you can make uh, in the future of course not exactly on your uh, work here try not to correct it that way because the wash is very beautiful so just try to make not that white and light contour around the object with the background try to make it a bit darker closer to the object uh yeah do you need to share it on your feed or a, a review i post it on my insta stories uh, well, uh, yeah, I have written already several times, please um, try to read my post in the uh, Instagram. Um, I'm, re I'm writing that I can see only the Instagram feed, not the stories. Yeah, I can, I'm looking for the stories, but it is impossible for me to look and to illustrate here uh, the stories. So I'm uh, collecting here for the review only the posts in your feed that means that if you are posting only uh, in your stories i'm sorry but it is impossible to show your work here try to post it in your instagram feed as well uh do you need to share it uh, oh sorry uh, hello i have a question when i place the watercolor on paper it's impossible to remove no matter how much uh, water i use uh, is it bad paints or bad paper? Thank you. I think it is, um, can, well, it can be both, but I think uh, mostly it is the paper. Uh, just because the paper is absorbing, uh, absorbing your um, paints and uh, the paper just dries very quickly. I think the point is here. So the paper is just too... Um, is just drying too fast and absorbing it is uh, it's immediately stains um, and can't be removed yeah I think that's just because of the paper uh, would you recommend a very white paper or the pale yellow one mine is pale yellow like uh, non bleached and I find painting white flowers not too white well I'm using the white paper just because I don't like the um, uh, background the colored background and I don't want any color be uh, layered on the well colored background <laughs> just because the um, well maybe the uh, yellow yellow color that is underneath can give us a different color mixing and can give us different effects so that means that we are not uh, getting the color 
the pure color so that is why i'm using the white paper i tried to post it but sadly failed however the review feedback is still very helpful yeah thank you thank you yeah i i'm hoping that you are getting some useful information here and that you can uh, apply it later uh, thank you hello which exercises can you recommend for improving watercolor skills thank you well first of all you should go and watch my preparation uh, lessons here uh, on this free course i have them in the link in my bio uh, on my instagram as well and you can also uh, observe my youtube channel and i have lots of lessons there you can just go and practice uh yeah so thanks hello i'm neroa and if i'm again uh, pronouncing your name correctly sorry if if i'm just mistaking and i want to know things to improve on my draw yeah uh, well i have several advices for you or several recommendations for you as well just start with this uh, free course and do the preparation lessons and try to make the uh, drawings that we are now making and uh, drawing so we have the second lesson and by the way tomorrow i will release the third lesson and we will draw beautiful window with flowers so the sketch will be again uh, so so bright and i hope you will like it oh i see sorry i thought feet and stories were the same oh no they are different they are a bit different of course i i try to observe all the things that you are posting uh the stories as well but here exactly in the review i'm using only the uh, posts on your instagram feed okay so now let's uh move on and we have the point about the soft edges so it is up to you again if you want to you can just uh, practice and make the soft edges uh, on your background by the way this background is also very beautiful i really love the idea of making it more blue and now let's move on to the next uh, point here about the shadows so by the way oh i want to cover the last one the last point here and i want to emphasize the shadows uh, point here um, well mostly and the last point was about making the uh, additions with white pen and making some highlights and so on and so on and i think you did a great job here so nothing to correct here the icing they are so beautiful and i like how you uh, have applied everything with white pen and how you have added some darker dots here inside the waffle so you did a great job now let's uh, speak about the three-dimensional effects when we are speaking about the uh, shadows and light points here i just want to um, show something about the uh, liner outline try not to outline the lines inside the squares so actually we are just outlining the squares and we are trying to make the corners soft that is how we can show that this uh, waffle is baked and we have the dough there and that it is not maybe plastic or something like this uh, you can cover uh, the lines that you have uh, outlined here with the white pen and then you can cover them again using the watercolor so try not to all outline them here inside so just this one thing i wanted to uh, share with you so when we are speaking about the lights and shadows just do not forget about adding some darker lines inside the squares that we have here and here for example this uh, drawing is very beautiful and i love the uh, shape and i love the colors and the flowers and the icing as well but here inside the uh, squares they are somewhere inside and when we are making something inside uh, somewhere something well underneath or something uh, well at the bottom we need to add some shadows just to make the difference in surfaces so we have the top surface here like the lines we have at where we have added the white uh, gouache or white pen and we have the parts that are somewhere at the bottom so that means that they should be darker 
so just don't forget about making the darker lines here inside the squares as well so now i just want to show you some of the works that i think can illustrate uh, some uh, points here for the shadows here you have added some dark lines inside but not inside each uh, square and here you are missing some contour for the waffle and when you are missing it the shape of the waffle is just uh, going uh, somewhere and we are not seeing it like a waffle we are just seeing it like uh, some other object try to make the um uh, try to make the contour that uh, i was talking about in the lesson and here you just need to draw the line and try not to make it too small so just again go and uh, look at the lesson and here we are making the line so you have it here at the bottom and it is okay it is beautiful so here you are doing great but exactly here on the left side on the left top side you are missing it try to make it and try to add some shadows inside the other squares as well so just do not forget about adding some darker lines inside the uh, squares that we are drawing here so let me just show you the next uh well here on this sketch you are doing great by the way you have added the darker lines but here on the second one i really love the background i really love the idea of making the uh well dots like this but you can also add the uh, darker lines inside each square just several lines here uh, on the left top part and on the right top part and your waffle will be uh, uh, more three-dimensional yeah very nicely done <laughs> so the colors and the shapes are so beautiful so let me just show you the next one here for this point yeah this one so the colors are fine beautiful and the flowers and the shapes everything is so so nicely done but inside the squares try to add some darker lines exactly here um, on this spot so this spot this line should be darker and this line should be darker as well that means that the squares they are somewhere underneath and we have different surfaces so we have some surface that is at the top and some surface that is at the bottom so the rest is okay okay so i think the last point is clear and please let me know if you have any questions left uh, so i hope that you have um, received some useful information for me from this review and i've tried to make everything uh, simple and understandable for you uh, as for the beginners I know we have lots of rules in drawing but here i'm just giving you the essentials and i try not to overload you with information so please let me just know if everything is clear and you can go and practice so uh here again i really love the uh, shape and the flowers but you can do the uh, squares smaller the first thing is that you should make them smaller and try to make the uh, second outline here so you have the lines and they are just um uh well disappearing here so we have the uh small contour missing the small contour line missing here just make the line here going uh down okay yeah, so the rest are okay. I'm just trying to show you some of the uh, drawings that are illustrating this point for the shadows. So, and the icing, the icing is great. So you are doing great with the making the, uh, well, beautiful highlights and the lines on the icing that's okay so you are just learning if something is not uh like you have imagined or maybe like you want it to be that's okay so it is the first step for you just to start your uh, drawing journey just to start your first steps in uh, learning so just do not criticize yourself too much i want to remind you that you are 
at the first step and it is okay uh, if you are making some mistakes so that's okay just keep practicing just keep going and you will do great so now i just want to read all of your comments that uh, we have here hmm. Could you suggest some tips on choosing your our own compositions and creating sketches out of them? Uh, well, yeah, that's a very nice and interesting question. But now uh, the question is too universal. So <laughs> it is too theoretical. And we are talking about exactly this sketch and exactly the uh, questions that you have uh, relating to this uh, sketch and uh, to this lesson. So please just uh, make your lessons and make your comments just uh, relating to this lesson as well. Yeah, the lesson is uh, the question is a really very interesting and we are speaking about the composition if you are interested we are speaking about the composition on my uh, basic course and i will tell you more about this basic course on monday so if you are interested you can join the live stream so i just want to remind you that on the on monday i have a live stream and we are going to draw the beautiful a glass bottle with hearts and after that i'm going to tell you some more details about my big uh, well basic course uh, in sketching and if you want to i will tell you more there about the course and on that course we are talking about the composition <laughs> in detail so this is just the next step and the next uh, level for your development I uh, just finished my waffle. Thank you. I enjoyed so much. Great. <laughs> I added shadows uh, with my darker brown color and lighter areas with my orange and <clears throat> well and as well as my yellow. I only used a small bit of my orange color. Yeah, that's okay. So you can choose any color for the shadows that we have used before. So the brown color plus orange is okay. Uh, the lesson was perfect. The addition of those small lines in the corners helped me to better understand how to get that 3D look that I struggled to get. Yeah, the lines that we are adding here uh, just showing us that we have some corners there, that we have some inner part there and that is going down and we are just showing it using the black liner. And the lines here they are again just showing us the bottom surface there somewhere inside the waffle. <clears throat> I really enjoyed the lesson. It was a great one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Divya, yes, if I'm just again um, pronouncing your name correctly. Thanks a lot for the answer. We'll stay tuned for Monday stream. Yeah. See you there. Uh, it's good for me to see all these beautiful paintings. I'm enjoying the lessons and learning a lot. Yeah, thank you very much. By the way, I'm so, so happy that you are enjoying the lessons and that you are participating so, so actively and that you are here together with me on the general review and that you are just asking your questions and, uh, well, giving your feedback. Thank you so much for this. My favorite thing about these lessons is uh, even though we are all painting the same thing, the finished images are all look so different. It is so cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is, by the way, the main interesting part here. That means that you all have your own vision and that you own that you all have your own ideas and that's great so look at this waffle i don't know but i know that you are drawing according my lesson but this heart is different and it is beautiful as well so i really love this rough lines and the uh shape of it and the outline is so so vibrant and it is so alive i don't know how to say but sometimes the sketch looks maybe sometimes messy or maybe not that perfectly outlined but it is so bright and it has some character inside it so that is why i just love looking at them and to look here on the background it is not that soft but it is beautiful i don't know why i love this grainy texture so each work is uh, so so interesting and we can learn uh, from each other uh, and we can learn some tips and we can learn some interesting ideas and that means that we are all just creating some <laughs> 
things that it is useful for all of us. So let me just again go and switch the screen. So now I think that the uh, general review is over and we can just say goodbye to each other and we'll see each other again um, in some days. So tomorrow, just reminding you that we have the uh, next lesson. Uh, so we have the third lesson. Uh, with the window and with beautiful flowers and again I'm waiting for your works please share your works uh, on your Instagram feed please do not forget about making a hashtag our hashtag and uh, tagging my account I'm so glad that you are participating thank you so much for your well activity and for your comments and for your feedback so have a nice evening Bye-bye and see you.